right, guys. Good morning. Mr. G rolling out of bed, bringing myself some coffee, you some cross out, and we have update 0.11.50. And due to the fact that I'm also doing the giveaway live stream today and editing another video, this one's going to be quick and dirty. I'm going to be walking you through the patch notes and just reading you the highlights from this patch. So, SEAL Championship is back. If you don't know what that is, it is basically a football game in cross out and by football what we americans say is soccer so you're playing soccer with the grapple and you're ramming stuff around and it's yeah it's like rocket league but uh for cross out um on to the next thing all right so uh yeah da, 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 it's gonna be 3v3 it's gonna last until july 22nd da, 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 da. there's gonna be a bunch of prizes you can unlock standard stuff looks like there's some stickers some new decors and bada boom bada bing this pack returns again the docker skin vuvuzela van pack thingy what's it so if you were dying to get that well guess what it's back so um on to the next bit we get the new ravagers foothold map um which is the thing i'm most excited for uh, about in this particular update so they said we could use this in customs and some other let's see we can use uh control mode brawl big black scorpions bedlam and in custom battle i will definitely be using this in today's live stream and we'll be trying it out more so if you do uh, want to check that out you can go back and rewatch today's uh, pack giveaway live stream and check that out there um, they've also did some tweaks to the garage so they improved the landscape of the test drive area near the shooting range put some more clearance between the ramps they made the puddles deeper the area to the left of the garage is slightly expanded and the volume of the robot effect is reduced during the crafting process well we all love our garages so thanks for putting a little bit of love into the garage um, they've also gone ahead and completely redesigned the terminal 45 map so they've gone ahead and tweaked that what do we got here <laughs> yep a lot of heavy metal action here for that we don't need that Boom. Um, how different is this looking right now guys um okay so does look fairly different i'm trying to figure out which map this is anyway just watching this um all right so they've, they've given you a whole one minute flyby of this map it does feel like a totally totally different map so interesting we'll have to see how that plays out um so it looks like a completely new map really all right We've improved the scoring system in battle based on your feedback. Points are awarded for destruction of drones and turrets. Okay, that's good. Points are distributed evenly between all players who dealt damage to the drone mode. Okay. Um, the owner of the barrier 9 turret gets points for every hunt damage they shield uh, receives. That's good. So you can now actually get some points for helping out your teammates and saving their lives with shields. Okay, Engineer's Faction. Now for each new level of prestige with the Engineer's Faction, the player receives a Veteran's Container. Okay, some more stuff for people. That's nice. Now with each new level of prestige in the Engineer's Faction, the player will get random structural parts from the following list until all parts are received. Hot Rod, Hot Rod, Hot Rod, Hot Rod, Hot Rod. Basically a bunch of Hot Rod parts. Thank you, Cross Out. I think you definitely need to give people more freebies that they can unlock uh, in the game. 100%. Uh, clan battles are going to return with Leviathans. So the leader of the group gets to go into battle on their Leviathan. The rest of the players in the group enter the battle on their regular vehicles. Teams in this mode will be selected according to the same principle as conventional battles. The only selection criteria remains the clan's current rating. Following the result of the battles, the changes in ratings will occur similarly. In order to queue for clan battles with Leviathan, the leader of the group needs to make sure that there is an armored vehicle with a capacity of 6,000 power score or more. Well, it's clan war, so I would imagine everybody's got at least 6,000 PS. Uh, so shooting occurs automatically, but they can target things like with the Caucasus. If the gun cannot fire at an enemy in sight, it automatically selects an enemy that can be fired at. 
When entering the battle, Leviathan has additional abilities. Increased engine power for 50% for 7 seconds, and an acceleration or reloading weapons by 100% for 4 seconds. Abilities are activated manually. We covered that in our last video on updates. Don's children now have new rigs in raids, so look at that. More hovery Don's children things for you guys to blow up. Uh, invasion. We added a test for effectiveness of Leviathans. If it was destroyed too quickly, no reward was given. Now in such cases, it is replaced by another one for the destruction of which reward will be guaranteed. Okay, so they're making it a little bit less grindy. That's good. Um, the Punisher is now going to get the same perk as other MGs in that if you successfully land 40 shots, it gets a damage boost of 15%. Or no, I'm sorry, not 15%, 100% for 5 seconds. It's getting nerfed 15%, but overall, still, uh, that's a massively good perk for that gun and will be a buff for that gun. Now the breaker gets its like extra life thing here where if it was going to get blown up, it's invulnerable for one second. Um, cool down 35 second, but it is getting a durability reduction and it is getting a damage buff of 6%. So that's an all around buff for the breaker, which was already good. Don't know why they did that. Um, the blight's going to get a power score increase like all light epic cabins. Um, okay. Meat grinder. Improve physical model of the augers and their adhesion to armored vehicles. Now they deal damages to vehicles below them. Well, they needed a buff, so that was nice and good news, Tarjum. We're glad to see that. Um, also, this is kind of neat. All non-steering wheels now take up half the power compared to steering wheels. So it's going to give you an incentive to not just run all ST wheels on your rig because you're going to have a little bit more power. So that's good news. Durability buff to studded wheels. Uh, mass increase, durability increased on the Lunar 4. Um, gun mount wheel gives a durability increase and a power score increase. They've also added this new track to the garage. Big old truck. Okay, I don't hate it. All right, they've improved sound effects of heavy cabins. Improve reload sound effect on the Orothron. Improve sound effect of the Huntsman. Optimize the sound of firing machine guns. Well, we'll have to wait and see how that plays out in combat. Uh, improve mechanics of One Punch Man. Now the patch is issued if the enemy was destroyed by the player with one volley. Improved effects of parts. Nova. Autocannon Whirl. And then a bunch of bug fixes, and that is it. Sorry, this isn't edited as well as usual or tested, and it's this is not my best update. But uh, it's been a full-on day today, giving you guys packs and crossouts, and giving away goodies. And uh, I just I need more coffee. I need more coffee because I need to be live streaming for you guys in an hour. Um, and I need to edit this video before that. So there's your update. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. I'm going to catch y'all later. Be good. Stay safe out there. Mr. G out.